Oh, fuck me. Step on these babies. You should have been aborted. Falling? Come here, you baby dick. Do they like attack me or are they just fucking creepy? I'm stepping on them, so hopefully that's something I should be doing. The fuck? Oh my god! Bro! are gross as shit. What do you even do? Just good fucking flesh things that get stepped on. Oh, they hit you. Oh god. They jump on you and they bite you. Bad baby. But I don't waste sniper bullets on babies. Oh ho ho! Baby beatdown. Alright, um. Let me see. I don't want shit. Fuck this. God. I... My name is Michael J. Caboose. And I hate babies. Speaking about baby hating, maybe I can turn my phone on. Ugh. God in heaven. Why did it have to be babies? I see you. I see you, baby. Um, I might have to punch through that, don't I? No, wait. Shit, I tried this already. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, wait, can I climb it? Stomping on babies! <laughs> Baby punching spree! Oh my fucking god. These are gross. These are gross babies. Like, no one's gonna love these babies. Fuck these babies. Fuck you and your babies! Kick the shit out of the babies! Like, are these guys supposed to suck? Or am I just getting really obnoxiously lucky? God. Come here. No baby left behind. So, even though these guys are pretty obnoxious and not that bad, I am kind of tired of the whole babies falling down trope. That, that needs to stop. One of these days, a baby's gonna fall on my head, and I'm gonna scream, because there's gonna be a fucking baby on my face. What if, it would be funny, like, just taking this completely out of context, just like, oh yeah, no, Ian has this, like, really weird fear of a baby falling on his face. Just, he'd just be out somewhere, and all of a sudden, baby. Baby out of nowhere. Baby KO! Out of nowhere! <sighs> oh. Cave note, I went in too deep and of course it was a trap. Sophie further to the truth. I knew there'd be challenges, but I was so close. I noticed the faintest breeze coming from the crack of this door. 
The store has to lead outside. This plate I found looks like it fits in the slot. It pro it's probably the key, but which way does it go? 50-50 odds. I've been here pacing for a field like an attorney, unable to make this simple choice. Sophia, if I make it out of here, I'll hold you in my arms. I'll tell you that you are right, and I'll never let you go. Well, I'm going to guess you didn't make it, buddy. Oh, you look so dashing, too. Just in case. Oh. Ugh. God. Okay. Bloody relief. Plate. This strange play has faces carved into either side of it. One side has blood streaked across it. So, it would be the side that doesn't have blood on it. Because if you put it in, he put it in this way, he got impaled, the blood splattered onto it. So, it has to be this one, right? That makes sense. Alright. So, here's my life, just on a whim. Oh, thank God. Ha! Oh, it's like an IQ test, but if you fail, you get fucking goddamn skewered. Anyway. Oh, and there's someone watching now. Hello. Oh. The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh, hi, Kyle. You just watched me survive an IQ test of, from hell. Now I'm now I'm running into something. Oh, whoa! No, I'm not. Whoa. And I'm back here. Back in the psych ward. Yeah, Kyle, I, I, uh, I had to say, um, out of every game you could watch drunk, this is probably not, not one of the, well, I mean, this could be fun, but it, it's fucking terrifying, and weird shit happens, and, Doc. okay, oh, the doctor. Doc, what the hell is going on? There's no time. I need to figure out how to reverse this if we're going to stop him. Who? This Rubik guy? I didn't even know he was still alive. I have to find this. I can't help if you leave me in the dark, Doc. And you need me to help. He We were working on a method. How can I explain this? It's like linking brains together. Sharing everything on an electrochemical level. So like Pacific Rim. Perception, everything. Directly. It's unprecedented. The implications on psychology, on pharmaceuticals, on consciousness itself. Are you serious? It's a fucking nightmare. Well, I didn't say it was perfect. Mm. Especially not with such a unstable host. Great. So your research partner is a psychopath. And we're all inside his head. Well, that makes sense. Not exactly, no. All of us are contributing on some level. But he's the only one with conscious influence. You know how he thinks. What does he want? Well, it's just a theory, but... I'd say he wants us dead. The fuck? Doctor? So... Alright. We dropped off Lily for her first day at preschool this morning. She's a brave girl. She seems like she'll be fine. Meyer, God bless her, has had a tough three years. Raising a baby is a full-time job, and she's finally got the break she deserves. By break, I mean coming back to the KCPD, Missing Persons Bureau. The amount of disappearances here seem to be growing. If we don't get to the bottom of it soon, there won't be anyone left to investigate. They'll all be a missing. I exaggerate, of course, but there's something going on in Crimson City that needs to be stopped, and Myra will help see that. She's damn good at her job, and obviously happy to be back in her element. Yeah, yeah, element. 
uh, I was going to say Donnie, and I was going to say Kira, but it's Myra. God. Kyle, I could use a beer. I, I could be using one of the. Oh. Yeah, that moved quite a bit. So we're all inside of this guy's head, kind of. Um, the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, he just smashed through a bunch of walls. You really think you're gonna be safe in here, dude? What? What? So that was actually a really short chapter. Let's let's go. I do need a margarita. I don't have any margaritas left. I have Yingling though. Where am I this time? Seems nice, except for the guys with the f Wait, what? Am I a burning man? Oh, dude. Not cool. Detective Castellanos. Was that someone else's memories? Somehow that makes sense. Like that makes way more sense than than. You were moaning in your sleep. Have a bad dream. <sighs> what if I'm just crazy? This. What if that's the entire thing? What if I'm actually just crazy and this is all in my head? Let go of me! Let go of me! Let go of me! Please refrain from Joker? Mark Hamill, are you in there? Are, are are you are you okay? All right, so I've got a legendary actor in there. You know you. Memories are vague things indeed. It can be easy at times for memories to be distorted by others. That is why they must be cherished. That's uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. And I, I can't save? Just stare deeply into the hole. I don't like this. Jesus Christ! understand anything anymore but I I could have told you that me staring into that, oh, that thing okay you know what that's, that's enough of that looks nicer in here though warmer all right 